there's Chico. So, I was just thinking, so I figured I'd do one of these little talk things because I don't like to. So I gotta make myself do it so I can get better at it. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get better at it. I'm 52 years old, almost 53 now. But anyways, um, YouTube, I don't think tells you when somebody shares your videos. He's about to poop, so let me turn it away. Um, I don't like being on the camera. Like all these people like having the camera pointing at them. You're gonna poop or what? People wanna see you. Um, I'd rather see the dogs. I'd rather see what your dogs are doing, even if I could barely see them in the screen because they're way over here. <laughs> I'd rather see that than your ugly mug. Nobody wants to see people. We're on here to see dogs. Um, but these days, anyway, okay, the point. YouTube doesn't tell you when people share your videos, I don't think. Now, I don't think anybody's ever shared my videos uh, besides myself. But I have done it, like, on multiple Facebook pages. So it seems like you would know that it was shared, right? Or maybe they only tell you if it's shared to YouTube. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, somebody probably knows. I just don't. Um, but there's a lot of videos critiquing other people, right? And now we'll turn. Um, or I can just pause. No, I'll lose my chance. There's a lot of videos critiquing other people's videos. And let's see. Now we got bikers coming. So let's do this. Um, and the people don't comment on their videos. So I don't think YouTube does tell you. Right? But the problem with all these videos of people critiquing is they're not... A lot of them, they're not even putting content out. They're just talking in their videos right so then now they're critiquing somebody else hey buddy right without without the opportunity for the people to rebut it at least in the comments because we all have our way of training right so if you're critiquing somebody else's videos and somebody else's methods and style right you should say the problem with, the problem is is <clears throat> People are in their little bubble, right? I've been trained this way, so this is the way. So everybody thinks they're right and they don't critique themselves. Because, especially these people that say science, right? Because they have their books that say, and I have the books too. But they have their little books that say, this is the way it's supposed to be. The problem with that is we lean too much on academia and not enough on the fact that this is an animal and you're an animal. And we have to talk to them the way they're used to being talked to, the way they understand in instinctually, right? Instinctually, it's not always a cookie. Now, cookies are awesome. You guys see me all the time. Handing out tons of hot dogs, right? But anyways, point being is, for some reason, I don't think YouTube tells you when people share your videos, which doesn't give you the chance to say, hey, this is why I do it this way. Because what happens is people critique a video, like say, even the ones that do, like say, say somebody puts up a 20 minute video and somebody does a 45 minute critique of that whole 25 minute video. Nobody puts all the information that this dog is specific, right? I can't treat this dog the same way I treat Waylon or Willie or Crew, right? Or Raider, right? I can't treat this guy the same as all my other dogs. That's the problem with these people that put out critiquing videos is they think this dog is exactly the same as a golden retriever. And this dog is nowhere near a golden retriever, right? So my point is when you're watching these people critiquing other people, just understand that these people are coming from a biased perspective, no matter who's doing it, right? No matter who's doing it. I don't care if it's a positive only guy, a balanced guy, or a natural guy, right? I think that's the only three. And then there's then there's punishment based, but that punishment based isn't balanced. Punishment based isn't natural. There is a dude. I thought it was kind of all gone, but early on, I bought this dude's program. He said, and it it was listed as get this without treats. And I watched him, 
And as soon as he said the word, he just started correcting on a prom call. I'm like, yeah, no. Now I did, I did still watch every single bit of his stuff and I did pick up a couple cool things. I didn't like the way he was doing his obedience, right? And saying this works for every dog, right? Which I don't like that in the first place, but I didn't like the way he did that. Um, but you know, whatever. <laughs> no, I do believe that there are some dogs that you might need to do that because you might need to break that dog's uh, personality down a little bit. But as a general rule for all dogs, that's not a good way to go. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't even using negative reinforcement, right? Which is using collar and leash pressure. It was, I mean, straight up, tank, 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 tank. And then finally the dog would do it and he'd be like, oh, good. And that was it, <laughs> right? It's like, man, that's not cool. Anyways, be careful what you listen to on critiques and just understand it's one, purple, one person's perspective and you're not able to hear the person's rebuttal of why they're doing it, right? There's a lot of history in a lot of these dogs that the, the people critiquing, they don't know none of it. All they know is the video that they're watching. So they, unless, unless the person making the video like say at the start of the video, I'm doing a training video with him. Unless I spend 10 minutes telling you his whole life story, which I don't even know, right? I know his story from for two years and he's 10 years old. But unless the person can do that, then the person that's critiquing the video has no leg to stand on. They can say what they would do and maybe they can bring up all the variables. Well, you know, maybe this guy's doing this because of this, but that's not what they do. What they're doing is they're trying to tell you that they're better than the other person because of the way they train. And that's just not, that's just not reality. So anyways, listen, pay attention to the video. So say, say, say somebody has a critiquing video of this dude in a training. You know what you need to do from there? Listen to that person's critique, right? Then go find the original video, right? Because if this person's critiquing a the video, there's an original video. Chico, come on. Good boy, right? So find the original video and see what the person says, right? See what the person says. And then if the person, if the person in the original video doesn't give you a whole ton of information, look back to the dude's stuff and find more about that dog. Because there's something that happened in that dog's life generally that if somebody's correcting the dog and um, stuff like that from the very start, there's probably a reason. Now, most videos that I've seen from people, they at least give you a little bit of a history. A lot of people tend to let the owner say something, right? Now, some of them don't. Some, some of them I have seen, they just go right into, hey, this is what you do. And they're correcting the dog on a prong collar on the first session without giving you any background, which I kind of don't like because if they don't give you at least some kind of background when they're showing you correcting dogs, right, and using punishments, then it's not giving you full context of why they're doing it. And there's got to be a reason of why you're doing something anytime. It can't just be because they understand what corrections is. There's more to it than that. How, you know, is the behavior really practiced? So we absolutely have to put it in and not safe. So we have to absolutely put it into it. The only way to do that is to punish the behavior, right? Unless you want to take a long time. Teaching, here. Good boy. Teaching alternate behaviors takes time to overcome a practiced behavior. Uh, I think I went off on a tangent, right? I mean, it's all kind of, it's all, I think I stayed on topic or just a little bit. Anyways, listen to critiquing videos. Go back and find the original video because everything, everything everywhere is just somebody's opinion. When people say that this is the scientific way to train, it's not scientific. And even science-based, hello. Even when they say science-based, remember movies that say based on a true story, are only about 40% reality, 40 to 60%, right? Just because it works for the majority doesn't mean it works for all of them. 
Uh, so anyways, research. Don't just take people's words for it. Spend a little time. If you watch a critique video from somebody, see if they have any videos. If they don't have any videos at all, don't... Well, I don't, I don't want to say don't listen to them. If they don't have any videos out there at all, take their uh, words with a grain of salt. Because it's all just book. If it wasn't just book stuff, they would have videos showing you what they're doing. Right, Chico? <laughs> He's just a good boy. Chico might have a home soon. Cruising across America in an RV. Yeah, you're a good boy. Alright. Anyways. Take it easy. Have a good day. Life is wonderful. Yeah, buddy!